We're All live. Right. Hey, everybody. Hey. Oh, I see. Let's see who's here. Joni and Janet and Tanya and Roxana. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. Hi, everybody. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Do another digit check. Well, Tammy's going to say what the um, clue or the what? What do you call that thing? I don't know. What yeah, are instructions the are. Huh? What did you what do you call it, Steph? The brief. The brief. Oh, okay. Oh, the brief. Well, I'm giving a brief. <laughs> and it's going to be brief, too. Uh, <laughs> all right. Yeah. So welcome to DG Chicks, everybody. <laughs> Happy New Year. And I'll start out with letting everybody introduce themselves. And we have Stephanie. Hi, my name's Stephanie and I live in the UK and my passion is making cards. But my New Year's resolution was to start sorting some of the things out that I've got and using them instead of looking and thinking, oh, that's too pretty to use. I'll save it for a special occasion. <laughs> well done, Stephanie. And I'm Bernie, and I, <clears throat> pardon me, I'm in Melbourne in Australia. We're currently in isolation because we've got our, one of our grandchildren staying with us who's got COVID. So seven days of fun. So we've been making some cards with the girls and um, technology is wonderful. They've actually been FaceTiming each other because they're in different rooms. Um, oh. So we make the kit, we make the cards, cut all the paper and take it into her and then they FaceTime each other and make the card together. That's cool. so it's much fun. fun. <laughs> all right. Okay. Okay. I'm Patty Ann. I'm from Western North Carolina. Yeah. And I've just been uh, putzing around doing all kinds of stuff recently. <clears throat> and so just today I did this. So if anybody has embroidery machines, this is, this is um, applique hearts. And then the rest of all this is stitches. And I'm going to do a tutorial to show you how to do this. Mm -hmm. And then when the inside, it covers it with a piece of just regular paper. So it's all stitching Lovely. and fabric. Thanks. I love it. All right. And my name's Tammy. I'm from Mobile, Alabama. And like I said before, welcome to another live Digi Chicks. So we're missing Linda, who is still ill from COVID. But hopefully by the time we do this again, she'll be back. Mm -hmm. And today, the ladies, the chicks are going to make a Valentine's card. We ask for it to be fancy and frilly and use lace and whether it's paper lace or real lace it doesn't matter and to use some kind of uh, bling like uh, nouveau drops or what are those little things called rhinestones rhinestones oh so. yeah <laughs> <laughs> so i'm gonna step aside and let them take it away all right okay <sighs> I might have a helper here soon. She's supposed to come in and help me do an embossing folder. Oh, I better put my right camera on. Hmm. Oh, thanks, Roxanna. She said, very pretty card. Thanks. I'm making an applique heart. So I can, I've got a six inch square. So I, at the end, if anyone wants to grab a six inch piece of paper and wants to go through it, I can show you how to make it so not an applique oh. origami heart i've got patty's um oh no that's not what i want to do i want to draw a line i just want to get the middle of the paper that didn't work I'm going to fold that up to the middle. Oh, I don't want to see. And then I'm there. I'm folding that up the middle. 
This is just a piece of silver paper that I'm making my heart with. And then there. And then I'll get my ruler and just sort of hold it there and lift that piece up. And lift this piece up. And then get my bone folder. And the when we emboss it, it'll help it all stick down a bit. You don't need to emboss it. I'm just doing it for my card. And then and there, and there is my origami heart. Oh, cool. Oh, <laughs> And what size square did you start with? Uh, six by six. Six by six, okay. So you'll show us that again. <laughs> I can um, I find some Zara made the other day. She got down to, I think she got down to an inch. Oh, wow. She's got little hands. <laughs> yeah. My little hands wouldn't have got, my big hands wouldn't have got down to an inch. Mm. So we had the other day, just to show you when they were, practicing we had we're inundated somewhere with hearts i don't know what they've done with them all they had all the no they were making lots of origami hearts mm. so anyway Stephanie, you're pretty quiet. Right. I, I'm starting just by stamping first because I want to put the Nouveau drops on. And if I leave it till the last minute, they'll end up uh, all squished. So it's just a sentiment for inside my card. It's a heart that says Happy Valentine's Day. And then the other little sentiment that's going to fit on the other side says, I get butterflies just thinking of you. Oh, um, and I started off with a piece of cardstock that was 12 inches um, in length and five and three quarter inches deep. I scored it at three inches and nine inches because I'm going to do a gatefold card. Um, and the image on the front, I hope you'll all like it when I've done it, because it's another of those free ones from Carnation Crafts, which is owls. And I absolutely love it. Oh, my goodness. Mm -hmm. um, oh wow, that's beautiful. And the, and the flowers as well. Um they're all from they're all free downloads. The on this particular one it's called um Grace uh either na um, nature grace or Grace's mm -hmm. Nature. Um and there was owls, uh, peacocks, swans. I almost did swans, there was two swans that were really beautiful as well. So and they're free to download from uh, Carnation Crafts. Let me look that up. Oh, let's see. They've lots of other things, but it was just it was just the nature one that I wanted for this particular thing because I thought it looked really quite nice. That would make a nice Valentine card. Okay, I got the link for you guys. I'll put it up here right now. They've lots. Of, so they've got lots. I mean, even some of the things you have to buy are only like a pound, which is what about one dollar forty or something like that. They're you know, really quite reasonable. But this one is free, right? Looks like it yeah. is anyway. Yeah, yeah, that's free. There's quite. There's a lot. If you look, it says free downloads. There's quite a lot of free downloads. Oh, okay, cool. That's pretty what you got there, Bernie. Hmm. Yeah, it's pretty. Is it vellum? Sorry, I had my helper here and we had the embossing machine on, so I put myself on mute. So Zara's here now. So these are just paper doilies that I um, had and we put some ink in a spritzer bottle and we it's just two different colors of it's the same color but just different um amounts of 
ink we put onto the doily and they're going on the front of my card somehow. I haven't quite mm. worked out yet where. And so Zara just embossed my heart for me. There it is there. So oh, it's pretty. now it's all embossed, which is the same pattern that I used. I pre-embossed my sheet here and it's the same pattern, which is called Sophisticated. And because it's embossed now, it actually pushed the sort of the corners in so it's quite firm now. Hmm. Let me get a seat. You can see. I'm going to cut that off, I think. I'm not sure if I'm going to cut that off. No. So Stephanie was telling us before we started that she just came up with her card this morning. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Usually they're chatting about what they're doing throughout the week, especially if Linda's available, right? <laughs> yeah, we normally yeah. do that. I couldn't, um, I think a lot of it as well, it's the time of year. Uh, I know Tommy and I have both said um, we need a, a sort of, Something to generate our, our mojo. I think right. once you've had Christmas, it takes a little while, I think, to get back into a routine. And I know mm -hmm. Bernie was the same. She said she wasn't. Well, you, Bernie, you weren't in the mood for sort of crafting either. Oh, no, that was a funny, Stephanie. That was on the 3rd of um, January. And I said I hadn't bought anything online this year yet. Yeah. <laughs> Two days into the year. Uh -huh. was, yeah, there was three days into the year and I hadn't bought anything on online. <laughs> mm -hmm. <clears throat> Giselle says she loves your cards. What a cute pooch you got there, Giselle. <laughs> and then which way? That way. Yeah. Oh, Giselle's joined us on our right. Patreon group, hasn't she? Yeah, she has. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She has. Oh. Did you say put that way up? Yeah, we have a couple new people. I mean, need to say hello to Jude. He's apparently watching it on his laptop. Oh, so that tells me he's nine, oh. but has no oh. interest in craft at all. But <laughs> I think he's more interested in hearing his name on YouTube. Oh, there you go. <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> it's very important. Oh. That it's all about how many follow followers you have and things like that. Well, <laughs> Giselle said hers is a her dog right there is a mini bull terrier. I figured it was a bull terrier, but I, I couldn't remember the name because they have those real cute little noses. I love those <laughs> kind of unusual snaws. Mm. <laughs> Do any of you others have dogs? I have a dog. We used to have two, but I've had one. We've got a dog. Oh, I know Bernie does. Yep. He's being very well behaved today. He's outside at the moment. But yeah. now that we're all up, you'll be thinking, where are we all? Oh. We used to have a Labrador, <coughs> but we haven't got a dog now. Oh. But our eldest son, um, he they haven't got a dog, but they're due to get one in a fortnight. They did a, they've done training for um dogs for the blind. Oh wow! Oh. And so they they're doing that. They they get a, a dog. It's called Taylor. It's a Labrador. And what they do, they actually, where he lives, it's only about three four miles. There's only two places I think in in England that actually train uh, guide dogs for the blind. And one of the training centres is about five miles from no, about two miles from where they live. And they've had the training and, and what happens, they will look after the dogs um, overnight and at weekends, but they take them to the training centre in the day um, to, to do the work, to learn, you know, to train. Uh, yeah. And then they have them the rest of the time. Okay. So nobody in your family is needing that? Who's no, no, no. They haven't got children and they decided that it would be a good thing to do. They'd read about oh, yes. it. So they went and did the training. Wow. Um, yeah, they, they have had a dog for a fortnight um, or oh, about four months ago. A couple were on holiday and they said, would they like to have this dog for a, a couple of weeks, you know, to get the feel for what they had to do in that. Mm -hmm. 
um, and they thoroughly enjoyed it. But he said it was hard work because they were told you you must not let them get on furniture. Right. Um, they're not allowed to, um, when when you go to bed at night, you have to put a gate on and it hasn't to be anywhere there with any furniture they can get up on. They have to have the bed on the floor. Right. Um, and another thing that I never thought about, um, they're trained to go to the toilet in your garden. Oh, wow. <laughs> which I never thought about it. You know, I mean, obviously, probably the same in the States as we are here. If you take a dog <coughs> for a the towels, then you use um, a, leash. A, a, a bag, you know, to pick it up. Oh, yeah, pick up the, yeah. Yeah. And um, they, they're actually trained to, to make them go to the toilet in your garden. And if they go, you treat them. Oh. And so that's training this so that somebody who's blind who goes out walking with a the dog, they're not having to try and clear up where a dog's fouled. Right. And I would never have thought about anything like that. So is a garden there really like a garden? Like oh, a garden, garden or, or no, a garden's what you call a yard. Sorry. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was like, go in your garden. Oh <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like your yard, you know. So okay. it would be trained to go before it went out, you know, if they go out anywhere. Right. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, no, no. So my none of our dogs ever have gotten up on furniture. They just don't. They no, ours don't. Just, Mine doesn't. No. Uh uh. And that part's pretty easy. I mean, she doesn't even try. She never even no. imagines it's someplace she can go. But some people do, you see, so it's to oh, make yes. sure that they you know that they don't and right. How about you guys out there? Anybody have a dog? <laughs> Besides Giselle, we know she has a cutie. What's his name, Giselle, or her name? <laughs> Look at that. Look at so I just cut. I just cut a whole bunch of different hearts out of three different um, red. I've got some foil. Oh, I've, got some, I've got some glitter and just some plain red cardstock. So I didn't really have a. A pattern in mind. I'm just putting them where I think they look okay. Mm -hmm. So the point was, you guys had to have lace of some sort, right? So that's your lace doily back there. And... Yep, kind of my lace doily, and I've got some for inside as well. Okay. Right. Well, my lace is totally different. My lace is this, and I'll show you in a minute. I don't know whether you can see. Can you see the pattern on my cardstock? I cannot. Yeah. I see it. You can? Oh, I can. Okay. Look, I can just see. Oh. I can't see it really good, but I can see there's something there. Now I can see, yeah. Yeah, the pattern. Yeah. That So that's lace because it's been made with that. Oh, my gosh. Oh, wow. Cool. Huh. So what I've done is use a piece of lace on my embossing machine. And you have to, when you lay it, you lay it on your plate, you have to lay it that way up. You have to put your card stock on top. And you have to use a rubber mat. And then put ah. it through your machine, and that will emboss. Huh. So that's my lace, the actual wow. pattern on the on the card. That's plate. neat. Oh yeah. <laughs> so I did use lace, but not in the. Your yeah. heart's got right. lace around it too. So. Yeah, that's yeah, the lace pattern right. on it. Yeah. So Giselle said her puppy's name or her dog's name is Mini Cooper. I think I think that's Mini Cooper. Uh, Did you just call her Mini or it Mini for short or Coop? MC. MC, yeah. You remember MC Hammer, Tammy, from back yeah. in the day? <laughs> With those big old pants. Yes. Hmm. <clears throat> All in our age, I guess. Mm hmm. Hammer time. Yeah, that's it. Hammer time. I thought maybe y'all didn't know that from over yonder. <laughs> What was this song? Can't touch yeah. this or something? Yeah. No, yes, it was. I'm only doing the three as well. So that Thanks for doing that, Tammy, because the only options yeah, I saw was kick from studio, band from studio. No, <laughs> And so for inside my card, I had to make my own paper lace because obviously we're in lockdown and I couldn't go anywhere and I didn't have any. So I found this pack, this 
this started off as a flower that I found from Creative Fabrica and then I got it and I released the compound path and then I cut it in half, I think, and then I just got a rectangle and then welded that to this and then just copied them across. That's beautiful. Oh, that's great to say. Yeah. And then, yeah, so it's going to go and I've just got to cut it because when I tried my test card, it was very wonky on the edge. So I'm going to glue them together and then work out how big I need to cut them. And so I did have five, which Zara wants me to use five, but it got <laughs> lost. I'm only going to use three. So I did, I used the <clears throat> silhouette to get different gradients of the colour and mm. then we're just going to line it up. So the <clears throat> the five got, I think the five got lost. You couldn't quite see the frill. So that's the five, but I'm going to go with three. Okay. That's there. So we're only going to go with three. So mm. they will... It's not that one, it's that one and that one. So we'll leave those for a rainy day. <clears throat> um, and then these are going to go on here somehow. So the way. flowers you're using, Stephanie, came from that same link. Yes, yeah, it's the same on. flower that's yeah. on the owls. Oh, yes, okay. You could, you all, you could, you lay them, oh, yeah. Yeah. You could lay them up if you wanted to sort of make it. Oh, yeah, yeah, that would be cute. Yeah. Three-dimensional. Yeah, I like mm -hmm. that. So those of you who are wondering, if you look back up in the chat, you'll see the link for that, which was quite near the beginning. Oh, it's the one that says Carnation Crafts. Yeah. That. What I did as well, I um, when I'd done the card that's just plain, and... Um, and I cut these out. I did an internal offset. I cut it the same size for some card because I, I wanted it so that it covered it up inside. Mm -hmm. um, but I did an internal offset so that I could get this shape to fit inside as well. Oh, nice. Yeah. But it would have had a nice sort of border on the yeah. edge of it. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, in the middle. So you need two bits. Bernie's got her granddaughter with her. I do. I have Zara here. She's my helper today. She's my elf. So she's, you can wave your hands over. Where's Zara? <laughs> so, hey, so tell again what she's doing. She's, uh, you guys she's are making a little card. But are you making a little card? Are you making little card kits to send into the other? Not, not at the moment. We're not, but we have been. So right. today we probably we will again. We'll find something to um, that Molly can cut. We'll cut it in here, and then she gets a little tray and puts everything, including the glue, and a, um, and then we go from there. And then she takes it into her, and then uh, they either FaceTime each other or. On Saturday, she actually made the card first and videoed herself making it, Aww. and then and um. then sent her the video. Um, but it was there was a lot of talk. She takes after someone because there was a lot of talking, and it, she had to send it in three bits because it was <laughs> far too big a um, video. Oh. So, oh, that's so cute. I think if I were sick, I'd like to be at your house and have somebody sending yeah. in trays of yeah. stuff. <laughs> That'd be Trays fun. of pre-cut craft. Yes, yes, I love it. <laughs> so they're going to keep their cards for if they've got friends that have got a birthday or something later in the year. <clears throat> uh -huh. hmm. oh, I think that's lovely. I know. I would never have thought of that. How cute. Right, so I need to cut here and sort of here. Did you find my knife? No. no? I'm still to put some rhinestones or something on, but where is it? Wait. Yeah, that one. Hey, buddy. And I've got Jude here as well. He's just come in for a visit, so you can wave your hand too. <laughs> there you go. Aww. But he doesn't think I'm interested in craft at all. <laughs> he has no interest in craft at all. <laughs> so do you think everybody's going to end up with the COVID there? I hope not. Yeah, right. been, so it's been since Thursday that she was, um, but I'm guessing she must have had it for a couple of days before because it wouldn't have hit that quick. So right. that was Thursday that 
um, she came down with it, and today's Monday here, so hopefully oh, that's right. And we've been all isolating and everything, so right. Hopefully, hopefully we're all good. We might put two in the back of that down. One on the top, and one on the bottom. So, do you put trays of food outside of her door too? Yep. Last night we ate outside because obviously it's summer here, um, mm. and she came out and ate with us, but like down, she was one part of the backyard and we were we were the other oh. part so. <laughs> oh bless <laughs> hi betsy yeah betsy's just arrived right hi, <laughs> better late than never exactly so basically she's been yeah. just in her room eating and getting stuff left outside the door and then we go and pick it up and oh covid life Right. They got the thing up there. Yep. My sister's husband has COVID again. He's already had it once. Oh. Yes, again, but it's just like a cold. You know, he said it's not really bad. Matter of fact, he has a fever. He didn't think he did, but then he took his temperature, I guess, and he does have a fever, but he said he didn't even feel like he had one. Do you know, I know quite a few people that are, you know, that are getting it again for a second time. Right. No, Rich. Put on but luckily, not as not as ill. So. No. Uh. -uh. Yeah. Now I need to put up with some a bit. I'm going to put this in. Do we find the knife? It's not off. That's my grain machine, please. Yeah. So, did you guys do anything for New Year's Eve or New Year's Day? No, I went to bed early and then um, we've got um, around where we live, there's um, uh, like a, um, some people, Indian community, so they love the fireworks. I heard them, but we didn't go out and look at them or anything. Right. We, we had actually had a party. Home. Oops, go ahead. Go ahead, Seth. We just went to our sons, went to one sons for Christmas Day and the other one for New Year's Eve. Mm, nice. We had a party on New Year's Eve Eve at our house, about 20 or 25 people. We had live music here also. It was a lot of fun. Luckily, oh. thankfully, knock on wood, nobody came down with COVID. We did keep doors open, you know, so there'd be circulating air and stuff. Yeah. But it was a lot of fun. We all did, when we went to Miss Son's, um, his, his wife's mum and dad were there and and then the neighbors next door but we all did a lateral flow test in the morning i know they're not 100 accurate but it gives you a you know right. good indicator doesn't it so yes we all said we'd take a test and we did the same when we went to daniel's as well mm -hmm. yeah. janet says i never would have thought of an owl on a valentine card no <laughs> <laughs> It's very pretty, though. It is so pretty. It was either going to be an owl or a swan, but I like the owl, so the, the oh, owl's yeah. one. And Betsy, since you got here late, up above, we have the link for where she got the owl image for free and a bunch of other ones up above in the um, chat from Carnation Crafts. So look for that link because I don't think you can click on it here. You're welcome. <laughs> Everybody's quiet today. Yeah, yeah I've got to do Stephanie and Bernie work. <laughs> right? We're working away, aren't we, Bernie? Yeah, yeah we're, we're getting there. <laughs> Kind of giving me a little mojo. Yeah. Joan says she loves how you made your lace, Bernie. 
So, oh, thank you. <clears throat> My frilly, yep. <laughs> What's it say in there? I didn't see that before. It says on the front, it says, you are loved because you are you. Happy Valentine's Day. Oh, sweet. Oh. Janet says she oh, was crafting here, but now she's finished. Hmm. What'd you say, Stephanie? I said it's gorgeous, that. Yeah. And hard. <laughs> all the hard. Oh, there. Wait, Stephanie, you can show your little technique of what you were just doing. Oh, I thought you were doing it with the pointer thing to make it 3D. Like, I think, yeah, just... I have done. I have done. Oh, the, okay. Just, you did that already. Like, upside down and just sort of gone like that, just to not to raise it too much, but just to give it a little bit of um, depth. And then I've got some 3D glue gel. Um, to sort of I've never used that stuff. What is I that? Used, I used to use it years ago and then I stopped and I bought some the other week. I thought, oh, I used to use that and it was quite good. But what does it do? It's it's a gel, so I suppose a little bit like when you use your hot glue gun. Um, it, oh. You can put it on, and instead of it going flat, depending on how much you put up on it, raises it up. Okay. You know, so instead of, of using foam dots or something. Yes. Like yeah. Huh. But, but you can move it about a bit. You know where when you put your foam dots on, if you just don't get it on right. Yeah. Um, with this, you can move it because it just took a little while to dry. But it just means that you can raise it up rather than have it completely flat. Hmm. That is so pretty. Oh, oh, what are you attaching, Bernie? Just some rhinestones. Uh -huh. they, they're Nuvo drops on that one. Uh -huh. um, I did them earlier so that it dried. And then these, I've just put a couple of um, rhinestones on. Yeah. And is that the silhouette little sticky tool? or well, it's made uh, so This one's a We Are Memory Keepers one. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. Same, Same one. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they all look just alike. All right. Yeah, you've got to make sure you get your new bow drops on before you start, haven't you? Otherwise, mm, they... yeah, that's what I thought. I did them earlier. Yeah. Let's see. So. Uh, does anybody have any idea what they would like for the next Digi Chick card to be? You can leave it in the comments or in the Facebook group or even email us at teampattyann at gmail.com. I wonder if a masculine card would look different. Like, Do you know? I was just thinking the same exact thing. Were you? <laughs> yeah, because... I have only grandsons, and I was thinking, you know, maybe we should do a card for guys on. For oh, yeah. yeah, that's probably a good idea because I think doing ladies' cards are really easy, aren't they? Because they're nice, you know, flowers yeah, right. or pretty things. But but men's cards are, I think, are definitely more difficult. <laughs> that's, um, in boxing folding, you've got um, Tammy. The cog one would be um, awesome for a man's card. What is it? The cog one, the one with the the steampunk one, the embossing folder that you showed us just before. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, the gears. Yeah. Yeah, yeah the gears, yep. So yeah. Janet said groundhog, but you know what, Janet? I bet Stephanie and Bernie don't do groundhog stuff, where they? No, uh, I don't know. I don't you, know what groundhog is, other than <laughs> it's from... If he sees his shadow, we'll have another six weeks of winter. Ah, no, we're we're still still well in the first six weeks. <laughs> they make a certain groundhog come out and videotape if he sees his shadow or something. It's crazy. Yeah. Oh, Joan had a good one. Have you done a sympathy card yet? I don't think Not we've yet. done a sympathy card. No. No, we haven't. I've, I've, I've made know. sympathy cards, but we haven't done one in DigiChicks. Right. We've not done them before. Ooh, Janet said April Fool's Day card. You guys <laughs> April Fool's Day? 
<laughs> yes, yeah. Never done a card for that though. Right. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be fun. That'd be right. fun. Say we're sending you a check for a million dollars. Bernie, you know when you just said about Tammy's cog um embossing folder? Yep. Well, years ago I made this. I mean, we've used it when we've done it. It's just cardstock with cutouts of cogs that I've gotten that embosses. Ah. Can you remember, Patty, when I did that? I yes. do remember. Yes, you made her own. You made a card for uh, your husband, I think, didn't you? Stephanie? Yeah, yeah, using using the cards. Yeah. Yes, anybody that has Hold a card. Hold it up again, Stephanie. Pardon? Hold oh, it up sorry. again. Uh oh, there we go. Oh, right there, there it is. Go. And I still use I still use that as an embossing folder. Oh, yeah, oh. well, that reminds that's very masculine. Well, to me, it yes. is. Oh yeah. No, it was that was what it was for. I made a card for my husband with it. Yeah. I like the idea of the sympathy card. Yeah, yes. that's cool. Yeah. I don't want to have to give it to anybody, but I don't I know. know. No, we always well need soon. them. Have we done get well soon? Yes. Uh, we've oh, done okay. get well cards, but we can do another one. Yeah. No, no, we'll do I like sympathy too. I yes, mean. I think so, because oh, nobody yeah. ever knows when you're going to need one. Right. Yeah. We all need them, unfortunately. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. I don't think I've ever made a sympathy card. Mm -mm. I've wanted to, but then I chickened out. No, I have. I have made. I'm talking that. about to literally give to somebody. Mm -hmm. I could make one I've and put it in it. a box easy, but. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we do. Yeah. <laughs> For those of you out there that make cards, do you actually send them? <laughs> yes. Uh, yes, <laughs> Stephanie does. Stephanie does. I've I've given them I, yeah, I've given them to friends. Okay. Yeah. Betsy, do you send out cards <laughs> or Janet? Joan. Um, and Roxanne has made loads of them for the charity ones as well. Oh, yes. Yes, she has. Hmm. Oh, those are beautiful girls. I send five a week to people, Janet does. Oh, my wow. goodness. That's fabulous. Good girl, wow. Janet. <laughs> <laughs> mm, that's cool. T Tammy and I make them and we like making them. Then we're shy to send them out. <laughs> yep. Don't be shy. No. I got a ton of them. <laughs> Betsy says she does. Yep. I just finished making the quick cheating cards with my Cricut Joy. Oh, okay. Mm. Thank you, card. Yeah. Oh, that's a good idea, too. Yeah. Thank you, Card. Mm -hmm. I can never find the end of tape when, <laughs> when, when I read it. Yeah. So if you guys are just joining us, I made this card this morning. It's made on my embroidery machine. So all the everything you see is stitching except for the hearts. That's blurry, isn't it? And the hearts are fabric and then stitching around them. This is done on an embroidery machine. So that was a lot of fun. So if anybody has an embroidery machine, you can also use it to make cards. And you might could even do it with your sewing machine if you have. Oh, yeah, definitely. Right. Huh. Betsy says she doesn't do anything close to y'all's beautiful cards. Yeah. <laughs> That's the way Tammy and I feel, Betsy. Yes. <laughs> Pardon? Could put some over there. Maybe. Over here, I think. Not sure. Oh, thanks, Joan. <laughs> yes, get out your embroidery machine. I was actually been embroidering on blue jeans also recently. And I'm going to make this really cute 
Let's see if I can find a picture to show you. That. Mm -hmm. How about that? Hmm. Is there another one? Uh, yeah. So you reckon put some here. Okie dokie. If you can yeah. see, yeah, you can see it. So I'm going to make this next. It's embroidery again. So if anybody's in doing embroidery stuff, I thought it's a placemat supposedly, but I think it'd make nice in the middle of a table with the. Oh, yeah. You can get really yeah. cute vases from the Dollar Tree that are heart shaped, and I think that'd be really cute too. So I'm going to do a oh, video yeah. on making that really as well. Cool. That looks Thank really pretty. Thanks. Thanks. Oh, yeah, Joan, you haven't finished that yet? <laughs> I finished mine and a friend of mine that was over for the party, our New Year's Eve party. She kept admiring it and wanting it, so I gave it to her. <laughs> My snowman. Table runner. So let's see. Jo Bet or no, Joni asked Betsy, what do you think of the joy? Do you like it? Oh, so gonna Betsy's go still working on hers, too. Mm -hmm. Oopsie. I don't think it's stuck. No, what? No, what? I have to need this. Oh, no, that I gave it away, probably. Yeah, I did. <laughs> but next year, remind me next year if I start looking for it to show it for like a show and tell that I gave it away. I swear I do that. Give things away and then I'm always looking for them and I forget that I just gave it away. I'm kind of happy when somebody wants some of my stuff because I make it and keep it. And I don't have no room to put more, so I'm glad if they come. Yeah. Like my sister will wipe the cards out when she comes. She'll go through them. Oh. She wants. Betsy says she likes the joy for quick projects so much quicker, but of course it is limited. Yeah. So, Joan, don't you have the portrait? I think you can basically... It's kind of the silhouette of joys. Right. And it's not limited. Another one? What, a portrait? Yeah, the portrait. Yeah. No. Well, it's only eight and a half by 11, but you can basically do everything that you can do with a big machine. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> there we go. Got leftover hearts. <coughs> Uh oh. <laughs> I heard you cough. I know. So you cough. It's like, oh, COVID. <laughs> yeah, right. My sister said she was out the other day and coughed, and the man, some man just gave her the dirtiest look. Oh, wow. <laughs> just did a little cough. <laughs> you stay in your lane, I'll stay in mine. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Are they making y'all show your that you've had the vaccine when you well you're not even allowed out right Bernie? Yeah, we do though. It, well, only to eat if you want to eat in. So if you're having takeaway, no. But if you want right. to sit at a table, yes, you have to show your vaccine status. Um, right. And then also in places like hospitals, um, uh, where else? Hospitality for eating. Places like yeah, nursing homes, hospitals, you have to be vaccinated to be able to go. Um, oh, anywhere, yeah. a, a venue where you need to be seated, so cinema, things like that all have to be vaccinated. Wow. I bet, nice. I bet some of the shop owners don't like that. No, know? of course not. <laughs> and it's very interesting, depending on where you go, um, you're supposed to, you've got a QR code that you're supposed to scan everywhere you go as well. Um, what does that have on it? So they Sorry? can trace you? So yeah. they can track yep. you? So I can have my phone, please. So it's, Wait. um, we've got a, uh, Victoria. So this service is Victoria app. And then it'll tell me I want to check in. And then it opens up the little scanner thing. And I have to scan a QR code 
which all shops, every business has a QR code outside their venue. Oh, and then you've got to scan God. that in and then it'll come up saying that you've checked in somewhere. Yeah, I was oh, in, we, I was this pretty similar. I was the NHS COVID tracker. And and yep. does it mean also that if you come in contact with somebody that's got it, it notifies you? Yeah. Oh. Okay, wait, wait. So to tell me, so I mean, if you want to go somewhere, Bernie, before you yep. can walk in the door, you yep. have to get that QR code thing out. Yep. And check in before you're allowed to enter. Yep. Wow. And then wow. so there's and every business has a unique QR code that they've had to get from the government. And but some shops the big like the supermarkets used to have people on the door asking to see it or show you, you know, how to do it. Some of the smaller shops couldn't care less. They just, you know, if you scan, you scan. If you don't, you don't. But there's a lot of people too, because like Stephanie said here, if you um they were doing contact tracing. They've just stopped that at the moment because we've got a lot of people with COVID. Um, people are just standing there pretending to scan so that it looks like you've scanned because they know they're not going to get asked to um, scan. But my um, to show my certificate, it has to see I've got to have this certificate that says, you know, um, my certificate is, and that's what I've got to show if someone asks me for it. Wow. Oh, wow. But why, so why Australian are Australian you... government COVID oh, certificate? People. And people can why? ask me to look at that. But why are they making you scan that? I, I got frozen for a minute, so I couldn't hear. Did you Just, say? Well, why? they were doing it for contact tracing so that if, if say, Molly went in a shop and now she's got COVID, then mm -hmm. she doesn't have to scan. But if she did, if she was an adult and scanned, then they could notify all the people that went in around that same time as her and they'd have to isolate as well. But those rules have now changed a little bit because um, because we've got such high numbers at the moment or high for us, they're actually, it's, you just notify the people that you think you've been in contact with yourself. Originally, it was the government doing it. You'd have the Department of Health sending you a text to say, we believe you've been in contact with someone with COVID, you have to go and get tested. So if the government's not doing that anymore, why are they still making you uh, use the QR code? Oh, uh, who would know? <laughs> <laughs> I got you. Well, luckily, like, you don't have to have a chip put in yet. Yeah, so not actually getting our brain, no. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I was wow. wasn't compulsory like yours, but um, they advised you to do it, you know, in the early stages when it was really quite bad so that if you did come in contact with somebody, at least you, you got sort of uh, pre-warned. Wow. In case you started being ill, but it wasn't compulsory. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Oh, as was. Well, I'll see if I can find a text that I got ages ago. Hmm. Interesting how the different countries are handling it. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah. But you your go. whole this so this came this was before Christmas. So you may have been exposed to COVID at this location, Crown Melbourne, South Bank, the Palms on the 15th of the 12th. So they because I went there and I had to scan in, they knew that I'd been there. And then if you're a customer patron that has visited this venue, you are required to get tested within 24 hours of receiving this notice. And immediately isolate until you receive a negative result. Please note yes. if you're already quarantining or currently blah blah blah. So that came for me. I think I got that on about the 19th of um, December. So on the 15th I scanned in, and then on the well, I should tell me though on the 18th there you go at 2:34 p.m. I got it. Three days later to say that someone in that area had been diagnosed with COVID, so I had to go and get tested. And then you have to send them a, something showing that you got tested? No, that's the oh. other bit. No, but that, well, I don't know if they're checking behind the scenes or not, but no, right. I went and got tested, but, and then the result comes back. But so that was on the Saturday. And then, so that was before Christmas. So that meant Sunday I was not allowed to leave that, you know, supposedly not allowed to leave the house. And I got my results on the Monday. Oh, okay. wow. So, so was it a rapid test or is it the one where they scrub your brain? That one was <laughs> the, um, the PCL, the one that you had to go and get it. Now we've gone to rapids for, you can do the rapid test at home and if you're positive, um, you've got to let the department know there's now a form that you can go online and 
register that you've got COVID because the um, we had a big outburst, and I know it's not big by your standards, but um, the testing centres couldn't keep up. So now they're relying purely on rapid testing. Mm -hmm. So Molly's is a rapid test and she, we didn't have to take her anywhere to get the scrape your brain one. Because <laughs> oh, I'm not doing that one again. <laughs> if you're not sick, it'll make you sick. So. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> All right. Looks like the ladies are finished. So Bernie, yeah. I'll start with you and you can show everybody your card. So mine was I embossed the white paper. I coloured a doy two doilies, which one's hidden under there, but that's okay, with some red ink. Um, and then I just cut a whole heap of parts. I made uh, an origami heart for the front, and then we embossed it. It's got on here, you are loved. And then inside it says, because you are you, happy Valentine's Day. We put some hearts on there, and we've used some rhinestones. That's Beautiful. my card. That's that good. so yeah. pretty. Mm -hmm. Love it. All right, we're coming to you, Steph. Okay, my card is, um, <laughs> the Janet said unusual to have owls on, but um, it's a five and a uh, three quarters high by six inches wide. Um, <coughs> I got the owls from Carnation Crafts and um, duplicated it and then sort of reversed it so that I would have one going one way and one going the other. Inside, um, it's got Happy Valentine's Day. Um, and on the other side, it says, I get butterflies just thinking of you. So I've put little butterflies <laughs> round it. The yeah. heart is a die that I've got, which is sort of lacy. And as I mentioned before, we had to use lace. I just used this piece of lace to emboss the inside so I did use lace <laughs> even mm -hmm. though it, it doesn't look like it well you got lace around your little uh yes yeah, so I've got lace and it's, I've, I've used the lace to emboss this um which I said that I did when I um traced around the owls to cut them out I also did an an offset but an inset offset um so that I could do inside there I didn't want to leave it sort of open that so you could see where it was joined so so it's filled mm -hmm. it all in so that's my card it's beautiful love it and the origami heart that i made so zara made some origami hearts and then made it into a flower so that's just four origami hearts and then she used some of my rolled flowers Mm. Oh yeah. Oh, well, she's done a fabulous job. Mm -hmm. yeah. So and then she's just um put it on some paper and then we put it on some cardstock to give it some weight. So that's something else that you could do with the origami heart. Cool. Love it. All right. So you ladies want to come back? <laughs> <laughs> so you can tell everybody bye. <laughs> Um, now I've got to turn my camera all the way around again. <laughs> oh no! I think I'll use this one then. It might make it easier if I did it that way around. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Danny. Woodsy. Oh. Mm -hmm. so, <laughs> all right. <Back> here. <laughs> Okay. So, we see your granddaughter in the background. Yep, you can see my granddaughter in the background. I don't and, see and, oh, oh, no. I do too. I do. And your grandson mm -hmm. as well. Yeah. Yep. Wait a minute. Who has no interest in craft? Peek, oh, peek, you guys. Nice. Let's see you peeking. <laughs> uh oh. There's another one. Hello. Matt, where is she? she? She's gone away. <laughs> there they are. <laughs> All right. Oh, I can't turn it off again, Tammy. Can you do That's it? Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so um, we hope you've enjoyed today's Did You Chicks. And if you have any ideas for future cards, uh, drop us a line or put it in the Facebook group. And if you have any challenges you would like me to add to the ladies, <laughs> that would be well also. But, uh, so for now, we'll say... 
Bye. So long. Bye. 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 Happy crafting. Bye. 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 Be on the flip side. Yep. <laughs>